Well, I guess we should be going now. Promise me you'll keep in touch. You're the scariest bunch of monsters I have ever met. Hey, that was a clip from the movie Monsters, Inc. What do you think? Did you understand it? There was an idiom in it. Did you hear it? Hello, my name is Dakota, and if you've ever walked out of an English class thinking, hey, I'm beginning to really understand English only to be totally frustrated when you sat down and watched an American movie. You may have understood most of the words being spoken, but you couldn't understand the meaning. Having a clear understanding of English is so important, whether it's being used in school, social situations, or in your professional life. English has become the common world language and regardless of why you're trying to learn it, it is essential that you understand the true meaning of what is being said. To do so, you must understand idioms and phrasal verbs. This is why I'm making these videos. I want to help you learn about idioms and phrasal verbs, but more importantly, I want to do it in a fun and enjoyable way. Learning a new language can be so boring. I'm hoping that, by using movies and TV shows, you'll be able to enjoy the learning process more. There will be seven idioms or phrasal verbs examined in each of these videos and there will be an initial series of videos analyzing about 100 idioms and phrasal verbs. The number of these phrases will quickly ramp up to more than 1,000 idioms and phrasal verbs as more videos are uploaded. These videos would be great for teachers as well. So sit back and relax and let's learn about idioms and phrasal verbs. Our first phrase is an idiom. It's called, on the other hand. This idiom is used to introduce or compare two different situations or ideas. For example, I would love to travel to China, but on the other hand, going to Mexico is much closer and easier to arrange. Occasionally, you might hear this idiom be preceded by, on one hand. To restate the previous example, on one hand, I would love to go to China, but on the other hand, going to Mexico is much closer and easier to arrange. Okay, here are three different examples from three different movies. Uh, you'd be wasting your money. But if it's turkey you're interested in, um, this one, on the other hand, is very good. Um, I think the man who wrote it has actually been to Turkey, which helps. Um... Yes, yeah, Superman, double jeopardy. Even you, with your great speed, couldn't stop both of them. While I, on the other hand, could stop them with my detonator. All right, Luther. Where is it? Where's a detonator? On one hand, you should be in bed. On the other hand, I told you to rest, so I see your dilemma. Yeah, I don't think resting is the problem. Nobody ever robs restaurants. Why not? Bars, liquor stores, gas stations. You get your head blown off sticking out on one of them. Restaurants on the other end, you catch with their pants down. Hi, I'm Natalie. I hope that you enjoyed those clips. Okay, so we're going to start moving along a little more quickly now. Our next idiom is hit the road. This basically is a phrase that we would use when we are in the process of leaving or starting a trip. It can also be used when we are annoyed with someone and we want them to leave. Okay, now let's look at some more movie clips that are good examples of this idiom. We're going to Orlando, Florida. Well, actually, first we're going into Missouri to pick up my grandma. Do you know the McAllisters are going to France? Do you know if it's cold there? Do these vans get good gas mileage? Gee, kid, I don't know. Hit the road. Idiot, I knew this would happen. I let him right into my place and tell him what's mine is his. Hey, it's gone. Stupid, he's stolen food and hit the road. What did I expect? That's what I get for trusting a rat. Listen, I don't know what you're doing skulking around during daylight hours, but I don't want any trouble in here. So hit the road. I'm not looking for any trouble either, sir. I simply want to buy a jumbo pop. Great. So now we've completed two idioms. Our next phrase is a phrasal verb, although you also might find it in a book of idioms. The phrasal verb is, call off. This means, to either cancel or stop doing something. For example, Karen, due to COVID, we're going to have to call off your birthday party. 
and as for you Todd, all of your basketball games have been called off as well. Okay, now let's see some examples from movies. All the time spent preparing you, schooling you, giving you everything we never had. I ask you, what do you expect us to do? Call off the gathering! Would that kill them? You're the queen. Ricky, I'm gonna miss you. Apparently you're the only one in Casablanca who has even less scruples than I. Oh, thanks. Go ahead, Ricky. Oh, and by the way, call off your watchdogs when you let them go. I don't want them around this afternoon. Sir, I've got a visual on the bogey. Whiplash 2, re-engage. If you get a clear shot, you take it. Major, we don't even know what we're shooting at. Call off the raft. That thing just took out an F-22 inside a legal no-fly zone. Whiplash 2, if you have a clear shot, take it. So we've now finished three phrases. What do you think? Are you enjoying these videos? We have more of these free videos online, and we're working hard to add more each week. It takes a lot of time to create this content and we could really use your help. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. It doesn't cost you anything and you get no emails or any other messages sent to your social media. We really need your help. Okay, so what's the next phrase? The next phrase is the phrasal verb, cut it out. It's something someone would say to another person when they wanted them to stop doing something. Quite often when a person uses this phrasal verb, they are feeling annoyed or angry. Alright, now let's watch some more movie clips using this phrasal verb. Give me your tickets right now, I'm gonna kick your meek little sheep butt! Ow! Cut it out, Gideon! Bad, bad, what are you gonna do, cry? Hey! You heard her! Cut it out! Nice costume, lose! Stop waving that thing around! Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna slip! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> it's clean! Got ya! <laughs> Will you cut it out? All right. Come on in. You scare off a lot of trade with that. You can get yourself hurt kicking on doors. Cut it out, all right? The guy's right. You run a garage, don't you? Okay, I think you're doing great. There are three more idioms. The next phrasal verb is hang in there. The meaning of this phrasal verb is to continue doing something in a determined way even though it is difficult. An example of this phrasal verb is, come on Johnny. Hang in there. I know you can do it. All right, now let's take a look at some examples from movies. I am not a dumb bunny. Right, and that's not wet cement. You'll never be a real cop. You're a cute meter maid, though. Maybe a supervisor one day. Hang in there. No! Huh. Uh, this is not making much of a difference, is it? Oh, oh, hang in there, guys! Go, go faster. Hmm. I get it. Who wants to talk to a guy in a tree? <laughs> I, I get it. Hang in there. Don't cry. Don't. Please don't cry. Great. Now let's look at our sixth phrase. This is the idiom, keep in touch. The meaning of this idiom is, to maintain contact with another person. This could be any form of communication. It could be another meeting, or a phone call, or an email, or through social media. Now let's look at some clips from movies that provide examples of this idiom. Go after her. It's okay. We'll always be here for you. I'll keep in touch. Yeah, 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 you're a, you're a good friend. Well, I guess we should be going now. Promise me you'll keep in touch. You're the scariest bunch of monsters I have ever met. I just want you to know, Sean, that you're welcome, Will. So, you know, I uh, hope we keep in touch, you know. Yeah, me too. All right. We've arrived at the last phrase for this video. And the last phrasal verb is, look forward to.
The meaning of this phrasal verb is, it is used to say that you are happy something is going to happen. An example of this phrasal verb is, oh my god. Tomorrow, I'm flying to Hawaii for a two-week holiday. I'm really looking forward to it. Another example is, wow. I can't believe that I have a date with Barry. I'm really looking forward to it. Now let's look at examples from some movie clips. Cray. That's my brother's. Oh, that's right. I look forward to seeing you in class. <laughs> there he is, the big guy. The first of big <laughs> Sullivan, nice work out there. I look forward to having you back in class. Hey, there he is. Perhaps if you told him I ran the second largest banking house in Amsterdam. The second largest? That wouldn't impress Rick. The leading banker in Amsterdam is now the pastry chef in our kitchen. We have something to look forward to. And his father is the bellboy. <laughs> Congratulations, you've completed the video. I hope that you will now understand these phrases when you hear them in the future.